Yeah, a big yellow sign that uh, school is about to start for kids across the state is uh, buses. They're, uh, they're up and running and uh, they're ready to take kids uh, to and from school here in the next couple of days. That's right. One of the state's largest electric bus fleets is back in, in this week's Champlain Connection. NBC5 Sid Bule has more on how students in South Burlington are riding the bus to make a greener Vermont. Gearing up for back to school, students in South Burlington taking a cleaner route towards helping the environment. This past year, we've all seen the devastating effects extreme weather events can have, from prevalent wildfires to flooding right in our own backyards. Four all-electric school buses returning to South Burlington for another school year. After a year on the road, our four electric buses have traveled over 26,000 miles and transported hundreds of students. Those miles adding up to make a cleaner community. The use of buses was able to reduce carbon emissions equivalent to taking 905 gas-powered cars off the road last year alone. I'll have to double check. I, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but And going green doesn't come with an additional cost to residents. It's a very efficient and a very affordable way to transition. It doesn't ask the taxpayer to fund the effort, it does it uh, within the existing budgets. Plus, each bus can put energy back into the grid, benefiting all Green Mountain Power customers. The vehicle to grid two-way charging for these buses allows the district to share that stored clean energy in the bus batteries with GMP during peak energy times and that helps lower costs for all of our customers. GMP says it's looking to expand the use of EV buses into other school districts across Vermont, getting kids to school safely and putting the green in the Green Mountain State. In South Burlington, Sid Bule, NBC5 News.